Hannah here, welcome back to the channel. For everyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I love all things Disney, Star Wars, Loungefly, Harry Potter. So if you are new to the channel, please do like and subscribe. I have an unboxing today. I have a Loungefly and a Spirit Jersey. I haven't had a Spirit Jersey for a while, which is very unlike me. And I'm going to show a couple t-shirts that I've been meaning to show for a while. I'm going to start with Spirit Jersey. You probably already tell what it is by the black. Front first, glitter. Now, tiniest amount does come off every now and again it's bound to happen with glitter spirit jerseys never tumble a glitter spirit glitter never tumble a glitter spirit jersey either there's a tip epcot you can see the epcot symbol right on the front and hopefully you can see the glitter in the light sparkling away this jersey is for the new epcot nighttime show harmonious it literally says it on the back. Harmonious. I like how they've got the O as the Epcot symbol as well. I do really like this one. And then the bottom, I haven't seen this yet. I cannot wait to see this one. I can't wait to see all the new shows, to be honest. Does it say... Harm I think it's kind of harmonious in different languages. Oh, a bit of string. Get off string. So I'll show you that a little bit better. And character wise, we have Mulan, we have Miguel from Coco, we have Merida from Brave, and then we have Quasimodo. Very rarely see things with Quasimodo on. So I love this jersey. I might take it with me. I probably will take it with me when we go back. But it's so nice. But yeah, just keep in mind. Not a huge amount, to be fair. I've had glitter jerseys in the past and quite a bit of glitter has come off. This one, so far anyway, not that much has come off. Jersey. T-shirt wise, let me fold this really quick. Longer down there. Yoink. Okay, two t-shirts. Let me grab the both of them. First one, you'll probably recognise the design. Haven't taken the tags off yet. Spirit Elsa shirt. If you've seen my videos before, the blue sweater with this show yourself is what I wore to the very Nico event. I had so many compliments on it. T shirt version. So you can get this design t shirt, jumper. I'm not sure about a hoodie option. Diz T World. It says on the tag. I will link them down below if you would like to go and have a look. Look how beautiful this is. And it's fully embroidered on there. It's so beautiful. Just a plain white t-shirt for this one. So this will be one of my Epcot shirts because I very much intend on meeting Spirit Elsa. T-shirt number one. T-shirt number two is an Animal Kingdom shirt. I'm so excited for this one. Yunk for the tag. Jambo. You've got to say Jambo on a t-shirt when you go into Animal Kingdom. And it's like a sort of sand colour. How you describe this? It's like a sand sort of colour. The back, now you can get it with just that on the front. I obviously chose the extra option. On the back, Quaharini, is that how you pronounce it? I hope I pronounced that correct. Kilimanjaro Safari. But look, the O of Kilimanjaro is a Mickey. It's a cute little Mickey. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So that is obviously an Animal Kingdom shirt. Large flat backpack. This one has been a while in the making. There's been a lot of shipping delays with lots of different things. And I think this lounge fly got put back a bit. I did open the box, but I haven't opened the bag. I've left all the tape on. So I haven't. I've been really good and I've not looked at the placement yet. Because it is a placement backpack. Pokemon. The new starter backpack i think it was i want to say collection lounge that released this one and it was on some of the facebook groups that they had sent an email out to everyone that had pre-ordered because there was a slight design change just to say do you still want it i love it oh i love it i was obsessed with pokemon as a child 
every now and again I still play Pokemon Go, especially around Epcot. I can see what they mean by the design difference. So the email had said that originally the Pokemon didn't have this faint kind of white outline. Hopefully you can see if I kind of shove it right there. They've all got a very faint white outline to them. They didn't have that originally. I think it's beautiful. It kind of makes them subtly pop a bit more compared to just being on that teal background. Oh, I love it. I've got really lucky, actually. Growlithe and Vulpix on the front pocket, as well as Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle and Pikachu and Eevee. All the starters on the front pocket. I love Growlithe and Vulpix. Which is weird considering as a starter I always pick Squirtle. I tended to then go for the fire types. I love it. Oh and there's look. The little ball picks on there as well. So again this one is a placement backpack. So different ones will have different placements. And what's the bottom? Ooh! We have Pokemon on the bottom as well. I mean. I just love how most of them. They just look so happy. Look at little Pikachu's face just there. I'll show you the back. I can't remember the price for this one. Ooh. I think Collection Lounge did it for probably around 80-ish dollars. I don't know the retail. I don't know. Look. How beautiful is this? Lounge Fly Pokemon on the badge. I love that the tag is a Pokeball. Because it doesn't say... No, does it say retail price on there? Might have been removed. But it's so nice. LF Pokemon All Time Fave AOP Mint Mini Backpack. Mint? Would you say that's a mint colour? I would have said that was more of a teal sort of colour. Would you say mint? I'm not the best with colours, to be fair. Brown accents and stripes. Lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. We'll open her up. Love the lining already. I've had a sneak peek. Holy moly. Ooh. 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 She has an inner pocket. She has an inner pocket. We love an inner pocket. Oh, goodness. There's a huge... <laughs> the packaging at the bottom that's stuck. That'll do it. Oh. The inner lining. Now that does look more of a mint green. Oh, I don't. Is it? I'm not the best with colours. So it does look a bit more of a mint green, and it has pokeballs on there as the lining. I'll show you both sides. And then the inner pocket has a zip. Hopefully you can see it in there. A zip inner pocket. We do love an inner pocket. With obligatory don't eat moisture absorption pads. Oh I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. One more 360. Just because you can't get enough of Pokemon. Although, I've just noticed something that's slightly annoying. I'll get to that in a second. Oh no, I've noticed two things that are annoying. Oh no. Oh no. I still love it. But, Geodude across his face has like a faint white line going across his face. If you can't see that very well, I'll pop a picture up. And across this pocket here, going across Psyduck, kind of just above where my fingers are, there's like a black dirt line. You can kind of see it across there. Sad mm, face. I still love it though. It's just frustrating. I wonder if I could clean that. Give me some cleaning tips in the comments. Because the last thing I want to do is put something on there that would take any of the colour off. Because that would look absolutely disastrous. Maybe just a bit of soap and water. I've used in the past to clean things. The tiniest amount of nail polish remover on like a cotton bud. 
but I don't know if that might actually remove some of the colouring of the backpack, in which case I don't want to do that at all. But yeah, any tips, please do let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!